Ableton 12.3 is right around the corner and there's some pretty insane updates that they've decided to throw in this time. So we're just going to hop in and take a look at them and talk about what we can expect to come, uh, what some of the kind of the more exciting ones are and kind of my overall opinion on them. Before we hop into the video, quick announcement for you guys. I recently dropped a super fire, complete start to finish music production course. It's designed to give you every single tool you're ever gonna need to produce professional quality music in 30 days, either if you're totally brand new or if you've been producing for a while but you're just struggling to get your sound to the next level. It's over 17 hours of content distributed over 30 days of learning. We also have a super fire community where you can hop in and ask questions, free monthly sample packs, all kinds of cool stuff. Also, we've recently worked out a deal where if you sign up for the course, we can actually give you guys educational discounts on Ableton Live, Fab Filter, Isotope, Sound Toys, Kilohertz, Arturia, and Output. So you could literally save thousands of dollars. And as of right now, the course is on sale, so it costs less than dinner. So definitely worth it, definitely worth checking out. Let's get into the video. So the first one that's probably gonna be talked about the most is the stem separation. So I think Ableton is a little bit overdue for a stem separation algorithm or, or feature to some extent. Uh, most other DAWs at this point have it. So Ableton introduced it, and naturally my first reaction was, I wonder if it's gonna be any good. And so let's go ahead and give it a try. It's gonna be the right click, and it's gonna be the same option where convert, melody, harmony, drums are. Separate stems to new audio tracks. So we're gonna click this, and then it's gonna give us options of four different spots, vocals, four different elements, vocals, drums, bass, or other. We can select which ones we want. Let's just go ahead and separate all of them and it'll take about as long as extracting a groove or a melody takes. And here we go, we have our stems in a nice group here. So I will note that currently in beta, I don't know if they're gonna change this, but there is a workaround, kind of like a weird code workaround for a higher quality stem separation. I don't know why they wouldn't have just done that in the first place. But um, yeah, there's this weird workaround where you create a text file, insert a code, it's, it's, it's I'll link it, it's on the Ableton 12 beta uh, release notes website. But it's, it's interesting, it's supposed to give you a little bit better algorithm, I did that, and it's still not super impressive to be honest. I could see this being good if you know you wanna like grab a snare or a kick or something, but like it's, it's really just, there's so much cleaner, uh, better options out there. I know you looking for the time of your life. I won't need to bury it. Just really, it's rough, honestly. I'm, I'm gonna be honest, it's pretty rough. So like in this situation, like, okay, here we have a clean 808. That's not super hard to accomplish, but like, okay, that's cool. Um, other. So I could see this being helpful in certain situations, but as far as getting like a clean stem separation goes, nah, dude, honestly, I gotta say, I'm gonna pass on, on this. But yeah, I mean, if you, need, you just need like a rough vocal or you need to grab a snare or kick or something, it's good. And I'm sure they will update it as time goes on. Another cool feature that we're gonna have soon is gonna be the, we can now select bounce group in place. So instead of bouncing each individual track, we can click this and it's gonna bounce the entire group to a new track. I know you looking for the time of your life. So that's a pretty cool feature that I'm, I'm pretty hyped about. Um, one you'll see all over the place, uh, this is actually a really cool one, is they've decided to integrate Splice even further with Ableton Live. So we have down here the Splice button, and now this is gonna give us a little Splice interface right here within Ableton, which I love because I don't like using the external Splice software, and in Ableton the library is just such a mess. Having it right here is super dope, I'm super hyped on this. You can drag your clip to drag in, drop it, and it'll give you compatible samples. Um, really cool stuff. So this is a really cool feature that I'm really hyped on. Literally having Splice right in the browser. So let's talk about a pretty cool one that they've added as well. And that's, that's this feature here where we can copy or switch back and forth to different settings. So let's say we have a reverb, reverb unit here and we have a different one we're playing with here. We can pretty much A, B these. So if we set this to compare, copy A. Notice how over here on the reverb, we can A, B different settings by pressing the P key. So we can like say, okay, maybe we wanna try it a little bit more dry, a little bit more wet, or whatever we wanna do. We can adjust those, save those, and then we can quickly A, B them by pressing P. 
So this was a quick one. There's some other cool stuff coming and it's going to be a little bit before we get it. They're probably going to change some stuff. But as far as the ones that I've seen in the release notes that stuck out to me, these are going to be the top couple. Um, can't wait till we get more information about them. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.